Play TV Plus. Amoni Gardens boss Sahid Musadolowa, also known as Ibile, has denounced the content of a viral video saying it was fabricated. In the video titled, Man Narrates How Lagos Land Grabber Sahid Ibile, Musadolowa invaded his site. Shamsuddin Olubo, also known as Esel Lobo, who in the viral video could be seen narrating an invasion by Ibile and his men were said to have misled the public and fed them with false information about Sahid Ibile. Speaking to newsmen at his office on the 20th of September 2023, Ikle Dehen narrated what actually transpired. According to Ibile, the video was a deliberate attempt to tarnish his reputation. I'm the MD CEO of so, Amara Garden and Estate Development Limited, a developer of uh, five estates in Lagos State here. We are not new to the system. We are developing the Harmony Garden, Harmony Field, particularly. We are developing Grand Field for Harmony Garden. We are also the developer of the Lake Here Fashion Town. Aside from that, our developers will be will do a lot of but Harmony Garden. I'm Saeed once again, and I'm a Nigerian. There's this uh, video that I was telling last week that we went into show the other side of the school where a guy on the um, uh, fire reporter was claiming uh, to be the owner of one land of the island that he had uh, the uh, land club and he came into grab the land. Can you just share your side of the story? Well, the trouble with you, the Samsung Hulu, aka as your lover. Is a renowned higher assassin, and uh, he was arrested and paraded regarding the uh, their attempts to kill one police. Mm -hmm. The case is there for everybody to see. He called me while I was in Saudi that somebody engaged him to assassinate me and defeat him to have made my life. And if I can part away with 100 million naira, he will let me go. As a simple thing, felons, criminals have no fear of anybody. They have no fear for court, they have no fear for jury, they have no fear for the police or the investigator. The whole lesson, and who can taught them the lesson, is the victim. He actually came around to assassinate me. He was overpowered. I'm not a fan of safety. Regretfully, I got upset along the line when Almighty God on my behalf overpowered him. I got him arrested myself. He was with gun and with harm. He confessed on video and aside from the video that he was engaged to pay me and he mentioned the name and those who they plan it together. Aside from that, there's a confessional statement to the police from Abuja. And police issued a report. They went to his bank accounts. They saw who engaged him, and that is mafia at the body, conspiring with one of the other people Muslim, to assassinate me. I handed him over to police. The video circulating around, claiming the humanization. I'm later to Nigeria to explain to them that I got upset along the line. But I think it's okay and better that he finally become a black male, not that Nigerians are here saying rest in perfect peace or condolence to my children. He's an higher assassin. He confessed and they went to his statement of account. They saw the money and he confessed, not only through video, he confessed that he was hired. And we have seen, the police have seen who engaged him. And based on that, he was charged to court. And despite that, the fellow that engaged them to assassinate me want to use the humanization case of an I assassin who came to assassinate me to negotiate 100 acres that I should give him 100 acres of people investment through my company. The land may be infested. People invested their money to me. Some people have one plot, two plots, three plots, 
and somebody will say, I should come and give him 100 acres. So the police will not charge me for the humanizing and I assassin. That confessed not only on video, confirm a statement and police has issued report and charge him to court based on that. And sir, please, please. Um, the motive that you mentioned right mm. Um, when this thing happened, did, was there any, I um, mean, uh, was he arrested or whatever, or is he still working with? He has uh, attempted through uh, forcible entry, not only the first time, we complained to the Nigerian Police Authority that actually investigated him and fought to cop him, charged him to court. But you know, Nigerian, Nigeria, I don't really know, know what happened. The police have not produced him to court up to tomorrow. I think other people that are property around me made another complaint to the Attorney General of Federation or Attorney General of Lagos State, I wouldn't know. And the police, the Attorney General Office, take charge of the matter and investigate and issue another report. And there are reports which I'm going to oblige. The reporters today claimed that this Murphy Adebare is a land grabber. And he misled the office of the task force to come and attack that property on his behalf. I don't know based on what sort of order did my brother Sipi uh, Jeje instructed one SP Salako who came to witness how they demolished my friends and started constructing another one. That was 2022, I think around October. We were there doing the case. At the first instance, they were saying the it's uh, 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 order from the governor. Later, when they see that it's difficult for them because the land in question happened to be in a resettlement land, and governor, uh, and governor was the one that actually gave it to them. So we break into that. I learned I don't know uh, I know the truth that the governor called him about it because community make noise every day, and he said no, it's an order from CP. The then CP was now the current their ID for say ID. We oh, we went there to table our documents. When we table our documents, the CP understand that they misled him, and that compelled other that have property other investor to make complaint to the DIG office in which they. Inter they invited all of us, and during the interview, he confessed to the DIG Kokuma led the interview that time that some people uh, uh, in your side, United Kingdom engaged him to attack the land from those statutory owners that sold the land to our company. So they said, No, if you have issue with the state government based on 10% and 20%, you can go and fight state government, there's no reason for you to fight. The investor and DIG Kokumon orders that the task force should leave our property. And that, they were uh, they left immediately, but immediately the DIG Kokumon left as uh, a DIG for CID. They brought uh, our new CP to Lagos. These same people went ahead to mislead the new CP. The room. And when we got here, you know, he's an intelligent officer. He interviewed all of us. I brought those who sold it to me and I brought the statutory document. And the people that their name happened to be on the MOU, I submitted everything. It, does, it did not take the CPU one hour to disseminate all their lies. And he told them openly that Mr. Said. That you people are calling land grabber, you don't have this land based on the document that I'm saying here. You top us if you want to buy the land from Mr. Said. You can go and buy, but I'll give you people room to go and negotiate and discuss. I only want peace here. But instead of the task force people to take hints from the advice of the CP, they continue washing mafia the body of Topaz Garden. Continue. Demolishing my face. That compelled me to make her another complaint to the hygiene. I wasn't the one that actually gave me follow up because I've left to Saudi. Mm -hmm. But I learned 
their their ID who was the DIG first uh, uh, first the ID at that point became the acting inspector general of police. I learned he called the CPDO, and the CPDO who seem like doesn't know they are still there continue the work. But he immediately ordered them to vacate the place, and that led to the issue of them going to assassinate me. So after they left, he went to engage Sake Oluwo. He's different from some student Oluwo. Sake Oluwo is a mere land grabber to grab the land who mobilized close to 60 ham boys there. Yeah. But they were to work together with Samson Oluwo. Why Samson Oluwo will come and assassinate me? They were there. When Samson Oluwo caught me that he got a business to kill me, this and this and that, I smiled it off. I was just looking at him. And the police from Abuja were actually the one, I think with the aid of the SWAT, pursuing them while I was at the back of the estate because the two estates linked to each other. And your resettlement and you could accept me. That's the land we've actually invested our 18 billion naira home. This money is not my money. This money is not our money that is money. It's money that belongs to a lot of Nigerians that bought one plot, two plots from us. How can I just sit down to release it to land grabbers? So th that is the issue we've been facing. And at, a, and at a point, those who claimed to be consultant to the state government, which finally found out is lie, also fear, that was having issue with the, uh, 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 with the community that sold the land to us, particularly one of the people of our narrative, who the community are challenging on their own, went to Conniv with the director of the uh, with, with the director in charge to start a negotiation with this land grabber. And working with one Nola Adetola Itunu, who is specializing in using land grabbing land to defraud innocent Nigerians because he knows that it's marketing land with a currency because he knows that these people are having issue within each other he claimed he bought land from the land that the community have already sold to us the community that the community they are talking about before you can form cwc there are a lot of government parasitas that should be passed they have 18 people representing the community only three connect with the Awokoya. To start defrauding everybody, claiming they've done something, they've done this, they've done that. On in the in, in this MOU, particularly when you when you look at the paragraph five, oh, you will see where the state government have said, release hundred percent to us. We are going to do layout and reset to you the so 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 to on um, five percent, whatever they are having. I'm an investor, I don't have problem with that. Even if you build a partner, who my head of brother. Uh, uh, in which my other brother happened to be a lawyer. I'm not a lawyer and I'm not operating a law firm. But if we are using the same name, that's our family business name. I own Ibile Auctioneer. My brother own Ibile Partners. Are they saying because of whatever with me? I cannot engage my brother to defend me. So I was surprised that one doctor Hassan, who is a land driver himself, have a series of Madness everywhere. They want to turn Lagos to where they practice their hair uh, courtesy or, or, or whatever. They cannot try that with me. I, I have my God. And God know I've never grabbed anybody one plot in life. I've seen them merging different videos together. I don't have business with that. The other ballet claiming that uh, Ibile collected their village or this. His father, Michael Lolori form part of those who sold land to us and his father and the honorable to family of land that they got, got their money. The ballet is not the ballet. The have ballet. The secretary, they are not yet. And the case has been reported to the police already. You have documents. I have documents of that effect. I, I will also advance you that as well. And they went to the police. The police investigated him. He begged. He said, Murphy Adebade and Bagane Bada Mossi through one dot one, as I'm claiming to be a lawyer, or even the lawyer, I don't know, engage him to do that video. And what they ask him is simple. Did you 
did you know where Ibile killed everybody? He said, they asked him to lie against me. He put in a statement. There's a report to that effect as well. The other lady going up and down parading surgery video, you people should go and check very well. Parading surgery video is a defamatory expert engaged by the same about the Amosiola lady. And what is my offense? My offense is to defend my investment in the AMF is too. I'm not a director I, in Red Brick Home. I'm not a director in Amen Estates. I'm into business. I, I, I'm in business with the wife, mommy. And mommy has actually assisted me when we are doing business. I learned from mommy. And I will defend mommy to, to, to the last point. The only thing they are looking for is to look for something that will cage me in prison or kill me. So they can, uh, uh, they, they can attack people in first place in red brick O and the MF history. But my blood and my everything is since is inside the MF history that I'm talking about. I won't let it go because you are fighting your wife or your ex or whatever. I, I'm less concerned. I don't have any other thing than this relationship and son and mother issue. Uh, uh, well, I think uh, you've taken you've taken virtually everything. But lastly, um, what are you going to tell the Lagos State government? Because everything still boils down to them. What are you telling Lagos State governor? What are you telling the government? Well, to the Lagos State government, they freely assisted Nigerians with the uh, Lagos State's property protection law. But one thing they don't use to take cognizance of is that if there is noise, when there is noise. People have used social media and media to spread rumor. Immediately they got that. I think the attorney general office, in which the uh, the land grabbing task force happened to be on that, to so set up inquiry committee to investigate this, most likely all these resettlements where this Awokoya, Olusegun yeah, Awokoya. Is claiming to be the protector of the states. He's claiming that he sold, uh, 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 he, he gave it no land, and the money he got from it to know is to pay PR to some people. He mentioned it openly. And this same Awokoya also defrauded me, in which committee signed deed of assignment for me. Awokoya, he, he sent his agent here, one of the Miranda Banjoko, who are considered like a father. And in as much the committee have signed based on the MOU. Whatever, I paid them money. My close to 1.8 billion naira is with them. Up to tomorrow, they cannot show me. They are the one that sold land to Hadron. They are the one that claim they sold land to Ituno. They are still the same people selling land to me as well. Up to tomorrow, they not show me the land. And the next thing is, they want to use Ituno case through task force. The task force that said it's not, it, it doesn't investigate. Through a lawyer, they want to use him to attack my land. Thank you. Did you know come around to say that he wanted to buy land from me? Somewhere else, it's like somebody bought land in Oshodi from the same vendor and wanted to use it to come and claim motion. He deposited 500 million naira. He's on my land up to now. He's supposed to pay me 2.5 billion naira. For close to a year, yeah, uh, for, for close to a year, I mean, he hasn't been able to meet up with his obligation. I, I don't know how come. And I told them there, I'm ready to return that 500 million naira now, leave my land. But you can't use that one to come and take the one that Awokoya is trying to use different language to attack. Especially one, uh, one, one attack, uh, one attack Salis, who their generation, what they are doing for reception is land grabbing. Thank you very much. Sir, you, sir. Sir. So, uh, uh, sir, you need to investigate. Call the community. Let somebody come and show evidence of one plot of land that have yeah. ever grabbed where anybody can live in land grabbing.